What is up, YouTube? Um, it is Justin, obviously. Poppy, whatever you guys want to call me. I am currently on the way to Miami. I have some huge things happening out there. Um, I'm going out to a barber seminar. It should be like eight to 10 speakers. It's from two to eight tomorrow, which is Sunday the 25th. Yeah, right now we're on the way. We've been on the road for maybe like 45 minutes, nothing crazy. Got the rental um, and we're, we're headed out there, man. While I'm out there, I should be cutting some people, which should be pretty cool for you guys to see. I have some little surprises possibly. And yeah, right now we're about, what, two hours and 45 minutes away. And so, probably catch some views on the way there, keep you guys updated. But once we get there, you guys will definitely know and probably show you guys where I'm staying. Thank you guys, hope you guys enjoy this video, this vlog. I think it's my first like full vlog, yeah. <laughs> hours later all right guys um we just made it up to our room um this is pretty much it it's pretty small um it is what it is um it's pretty good um king king bed and and um a bathroom <laughs> it's exactly what we need we just came over here to get some business handled and so that's what we're doing um but you know you guys like room tours on youtube so here you go we're about to go out and get some food, fill up the car with some gas because we actually never got any gas the entire way. We actually made it over here on a full tank, which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, so we gotta go get some gas, go get some grub, and then we gonna come back over here. I'm probably gonna give myself a cut, and then I'm knocking out because I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. It's like, what is it, like almost nine now? So, yeah. <laughs> This isn't a coffee maker, this is a contraption. And I don't know how to use it. Alright guys! <laughs> Good morning, this is day two in Miami. Um, this is Sunday. Right now I'm gonna get ready, I gotta cut my hair. I did end up cutting my hair last night. Um, me and my, my beautiful girlfriend, we went out, we got some food, and then we came back to the, the room and um, fell asleep. I'm trying to figure out this coffee maker and drink some good, great hotel coffee. It's terrible. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut myself and then I'm gonna go get ready to see somebody who you guys, some of you guys may know, but most of you guys won't. Um, he's been actually a coach of mine recently. Um, I've been experiencing some coaching. Yeah, then after that, we're probably going to start getting ready and then um, go to the event. So, this should be cool. Yeah! It's actually really good. <laughs> Hello. Top of the morning, brother. Morning of the top. How you doing? Yeah, I'm heavy with it. I'm great, bro. Just wanted to uh, confirm that we got three seats in the back. So you, your lady, and uh, and. Valencia can all fit. Your lady is pretty awesome, right? Now I can separate people. You said what, bro? It's your your girl is doing your vlogging, so it's like one person. Yeah, absolutely. We got the we got the Sony FX30 sitting right here while I'm cutting my hair. Yeah. It sounded like two people, you know, like videographer and your lady. Nah, just her. Yeah, she is videographer. All right, bet. That's cool, bro. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys can all fit if, if that's cool with you. It'll be uh, it's like a. A sedan, not like a not too small of a car, so um, 
All you gotta do is make it here. And then... And then we can all go over there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. As soon as I'm done cutting my hair, we're probably gonna stop and grab Sunday. My place is about 15 minutes away from yours. Fire. Perfect. That's nice close. All right, bet. I'll see you real soon. All right, man. Okay. Is it recording? We was just on the phone, man, with, with Coach. We, get, we getting everything in the line. Alignment so that we can, it's very last minute, actually, because I, I've been trying to go over there and, and give him a house call since I knew I was coming down here, but um, he told me he would hit me back. He never hit me back, and then he hit me back last night, but I was I was eating with my lady, so I wasn't even really paying too much attention to all of that, but it's all good because, you know, you know, God make things work out. He's making things work out for sure, for sure. Um, right now, we just getting this cut, and we just, that's what we doing. Always looking good, queen. Should I give them some motivational words? What should I tell them? <laughs> God loves you. Let me put a little bit of hespe. You know, man, life is like a haircut. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's easy. And sometimes it's really not. Sometimes you're going to make a straight line and sometimes you're going to make a curved one. <laughs> but at the end of the day, <laughs> as long as you persevere, you'll get better. <laughs> I always remember when you're doing your lineup, loosen up. If you got braids or whatever it is, loosen up a little piece as much as you can because you don't, you know, you don't want your, you don't want your hairline doing the Macarena. What is up, man? Um, we are on the way to uh, my coach's house. We are currently 12 minutes away. We are soon to get there by 10. It is 9.41. Um, if we were trying to grab some breakfast before, but I don't think we're gonna have time to do that. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, we're gonna go over there, uh, chop it up. Me and another barber are probably gonna cut him. Um, so probably some dual action will be going on. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, man, these roads are crazy in Miami. These people are crazy. Ain't nothing but a bunch of Caribbean folk out here. Shout out to Caribbean. Um, but we, we, we drive crazy. So we made it to, to uh, where, where Joel is at, where Coach is at. Oops, oops, where Coach is at. Um, this is the lobby. It's pretty smooth, man. It's pretty cool out here. Um, almost so real if you will. Not really, but it's really dope. Um, cool, cool architecture, cool, um, cool environment. They got art everywhere. It's pretty dope, man. It's pretty dope. Do you want to hand the door? I hear you. Yo. What up? What is up? What is up? The man himself. Uh, What's good, bro? What's good, dog? Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm all good. right. I'm good, bro. You? I'm ready. Yeah? I need it. I okay. need it. Stay tuned, man. They got to get me right. They got to get me right. They got a big <laughs> cut to do. I'll do it. I knew you were tall, but I didn't know you were this tall. With his hair, he was like 6'8". Make me miss my, my hair, bro. My hair. Oh, the dreads, right? Yeah, yeah. But you had a lot more than me. And like the, the actual count, he had like a lot of more individuals. I did his hair yeah. twice in his life. Once when he was seven until nine. Okay. And when he got him cut off, there was 152. Mm. I know how many I cut off. That's what I'm off. saying, yeah, I only have 24. And he's like, mommy, the carpets are gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was Mexico, dog. Mexico was cool, wasn't it? It was, but I was, I was ready to go. Yeah. After three months in Mexico, you're like, all right, what else is there to do? <laughs> <laughs> no one's here, so. This is it for me. I'm staying here, bro. Oh, it's the last spot? Well, like in Miami. I'm staying in Miami. Oh, okay. This is you locking down in Miami. Okay, cool. Yeah, bro. For sure. Up the road. I was like, oh, this is where I need to live. 
Yeah. I go to the gym, a boxer. There's she was like, telling me about him in the. Yeah, in there's the, like a new celebrity there every day. I meet somebody, or like it's just really inspiring. People I watch on YouTube, like self improvement YouTubers. Yeah. I'll be like. The first day there was him right there. I walk up to him like, yo, bro, and he's like, cool. I talk to you for a few minutes, like they feel like safe in that environment. So. Mm. Right, so what do you want to tackle? Are we doing like side by side or? Um, I need a whole treatment, bro. You know, I don't, I don't want the fades uneven. No, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, you can do the design on the back. That's his thing. Oh, okay. okay. Look, here's a whole highlight thing on this of designs. Okay. Yeah, I can do designs, but I'm not huge on them. And these are all fire, bro. Okay. So we're doing consultation. So I like this. I like this. You know? You like that. But the front of my head doesn't grow. Okay. This all grows in too much. So to get that result, I think I'm gonna need to trim all this down. Uh, my goal is to just good. have it all even. So like I need like a longevity cut. And then these are super light, so I don't even like trim none of this, line this, I only enhance it. The beard, I got the, I got this going on. That boy you got know? that light spot. Yeah, on both sides. I leave all this really. I don't really trim like this area or this area, but I will. Trim right underneath here. Okay. And I'll blend all this, like all like all the way down, like super, like bald this out. Okay. Like a one here, you know, like a two here. But if you touch any of this, these are like my bangs mm -hmm. on the beard. So I need those. Uh, my skin is super sensitive underneath the beard. So uh, light clippers. So I just use the clipper instead of a trimmer. Okay. Underneath here. No rare, no uh, shaver. No shaver or trimmer. Okay. Yeah, just a clipper. With oh, like, just a regular, like a regular clipper. Yeah, clipper, clipper. Main pain points for me, bro, is this. Pain points. Meaning like, you have one job today. Okay. To, to not patch, not like cut this at all. Yeah. Not cut this at all. Preferably like beige and dye this, and beige and dye this. Trim all this down. Skin taper here. I like, you know, the C cup connected to the beard. Real nice. Yeah. That Philly. Yeah. you get good, you might be able to be as barber more often. But yeah, I just cut my own hair, bro. So. Yeah. yeah, you are a barber. Yeah. Well, no longer you're retired. This is, this is a big deal. I don't let nobody touch my hair, man. It's only for the best. Let's go. Yeah. I'm ready. It's okay, I'm gonna jack you up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys wanna ride all ride together? Wait, so... Uh, you, you guys are parking your car for the day? Yeah, we parked across the street for the 35. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Um, it might be that church right there. I don't know where you guys Shout out Valencia. Valencia's a part of this cut. I don't know why he's standing over there so shy. Come on, bro. Let's go. You're good, dog. <laughs> yeah, you can come get on. some action shots. Do the, do the taper first. And then okay, so I'm doing the tape, yeah. and then yeah, you just handle it in the back. Huh. Just, just jump in, bro. Let's just get it all. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Man, let's make I feel it. like you look scared here. You look worried. So now you're fantastic. Oh, I need the. Uh, you need your where's that big comb? That's what I feel like. Where's the wet comb? Big comb. What do I do with it? The big comb? Yeah, the one you had. He's my pick. I don't know. Joel, so what got you into barbering, man? What got you into cutting hair? It's crazy how I look at barbering now versus how I looked at it then. <laughs> I don't know, like a little different, but what got me into it was cut my own hair. I grew up in a town where there was no barbers, which made it a layup for me to be a barber. A layup? Because there was nobody providing a solution to the problem. Okay. And the problem was, you know, you needed those fresh fades and lineups, not just like those five dollar buzz cuts like there was literally five dollar buzz cuts in my hometown that was like one of the barber shop main cuts what was the hometown $10. it still cost ten dollars for a haircut ohio. yeah you're from ohio I'm from a small town in ohio in the middle of nowhere and i hated it i'm thankful now but uh because it gave me the desire to do this yeah if I, if I grew up in like a nice like cleveland or cincinnati i'd probably be like oh this is cool you know i'm in a city but because I was in bumfuck nowhere, it yeah. was like, it was like I gotta get out of here. What's bubble shit? I'm not supposed to be here, you know. Like, yeah. Nobody's supposed to be here. This, this is terrible. Mm. And uh, so, I left about two years later. barbering was like my only way out at the time. I didn't really believe in myself enough to like be this crazy entrepreneur. I was trying. I tried like a media agency. I tried a Amazon FBA. I tried like three different businesses. Bought courses for each one. Yeah. Like my life savings, which was like 500 bucks for each course. Um, and. Yeah. Just didn't believe myself to see it through. So every roadblock, I would like stop. And uh, barbering was like, it was easy. I just cut my friend's hair. And because I was like an artistic person, I really enjoyed just, like, you know, the craft part of it. Yeah. 
And then I just randomly came across this barber in Cali, whose name was uh, Zay the Barber. Zay? Yeah. yeah. And he was flaunting like being 21, driving to Benz, cutting celebrities, making six figures. And he was the same age as me at the time. So I was like inspired, but also kind of like angry. Like, why is he the same age as me? balling and I'm like, envious, in the, yeah. I'm like in this basement and no one knows me or like knows I exist and I'm just watching him like like I want to be on the, the person people are watching you know and uh, so that's what I did I just studied him from afar and got a mentor in Columbus drove like an hour to go see him and shadow him my mom would take me and he told me like bro if you go to Cali don't try to just go there like go there and try to be the best like be the best one in the shop that you go to and I'm like, bro, look at the shop I'm going to. Like, these guys have 100K followers on IG. Yeah. Back when, like, that wasn't even a thing even for a thing, Yeah. And I was trying to explain to him, like, I'm not, I'm from, like, this small town where, you know, people are, like, on food stamps and, like, all like, types of stuff. Yeah, like, bro, I don't think I'm meant to do something that special. I'll go, like, take part, but I don't think I could be the best. And he's like, no, bro, go, go be the best. So, that, so he believed in me a lot, bro. Like, that mentor I found in, in my hometown. And sometimes that's all you need is somebody to believe, like even before you do. Before, I didn't believe in myself, but he did, so. I was being cynical at first, and I was, I wanted to say like, yeah, right, bro. Mm. There's no way I could like go to Cali successfully and uh, be like the best one in the shop. So it was like the red pill in the matrix, like, you know, Neo, when Morpheus gave him the two options, like you either have the red pill or the blue pill. Which one you gonna uh, take? Yeah. And so he was telling me to take the red pill, which was like, go to Cali, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you're 20 years old, you got your whole life ahead of you. And I was used to the cynicism and scarcity of like the blue pill, which I consider to be the programming. Like we talk about drifting. Yeah. Napoleon Hill. Shout out Napoleon Hill. So I, that, that to me is like the blue pill. I'll try to sit up. And that was like, a conversation that did it for me was like sing, shadowing my mentor, cutting hair. Mm -hmm. And then he sat down after a long day. He's like, bro, what do you want to do? I was like, bro, I want to go to Cali. He's like, what do you want to do in Cali? I said, like, there's this barber shop I've been watching on YouTube called The Rich Barber. And uh, I talked to the owner. He gave me his phone number. Chuka? Yeah. Chuka. On, on IG. I said, hey, like, I've learned a lot from you from afar. If I could be your apprentice, like, it would change my life. I'd send him that DM. And uh, he just gave me a short reply, and I was like, bro, can we have a quick phone call? And he replied with his phone number. Let's and go. I'm, and so I just... Life changing. I, I wrote down what would I say if I talked to him on a piece of paper. And I'm, like, shaking, like, nervous, stuttering. But I called him. He answered. We had, like, a 15-minute call. And he basically told me, like, yeah, we have a chair left in the shop, but, like, you're across the country, so I don't know how that's going to work. He said, I'm there. And he also didn't realize that I was not licensed. Mm. And he, he had already previously said he doesn't want to do apprentices and stuff, like, in one of his videos. It's so crazy how much, like, the game has changed since you kind of hopped out of it. Like, as far as, like, the Instagram and, like, the branding and marketing, mm. before you used to be able to just, like, post, like, cool haircuts, you doing them with some, some cool song in the background and yeah. it'd get numbers. For sure, that's how I did my whole thing. Yeah, and now it's like, that works, but it's like the game is really centered on like, like almost like clickbait and, um, and voiceovers now. Yeah. It's it, totally different now. It also, it also works for clicks, but for converting clients, you can really flex your muscle mm -hmm. when you do a voiceover. Voiceover, you, you can, come out you like you can flex your muscle. Like, hey, I do this for real. Like, here's what I did. Here's the problem he was facing. Here's why I'm a, I'm like a doctor with this thing. Like, I solved his issues mm -hmm. better than any barber in my town. And you, and you need to book with me because I'm gonna get you the same result. Like, you're able to say that, you know, with like that gusto, bravado. Like, you can't do that without a voiceover. So, some dual action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dual action. Come on, man. man. I got a big problem. I need solved. Up. I got the I got the blends up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Valencia got the the blend and the design in the back. Let's get it. How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Di gracias. Think it was this one? Uh, I don't know if I saw that one, bro. 
All right, how about this one? And just keep going. Yeah, for people. For people. For people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My yeah, this yeah. client, Mr. 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 Joe himself, he, he only wants enhancements. He don't even want a lineup. He yeah. just wanted the side curves. He just wants enhancements. So yeah. that's what we're going to give him. Yeah, 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 right here. Bring this forward. Give me like a. Whew. No, oh, man. Not that far. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I need this, though. Look how full his is. That's what I need. I do got crazy weed spots, too, though. Got the Nipsey in the back. You know? Because all we do is hustle. I'm not a rapper, though. How did you grow your Instagram? What should I today to make it look more professional? I'm trying you to record get every day. Business side. That's all. This is the finished product right here. It. Bragging about it. Yeah, this is the. Show them the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it to the event. Um, we're a little late, but that's, you know, I'm going to blame Coach for that. Um, shout out Joel, but um, let's, let's go inside and see what's happening, bro. I'm excited to show y'all this. Come on. We got a lot of barbers out here. We have music. They got drinks. It's the vibe. It's good energy. A lot of people out here. They got barbers over here doing some work. It's gonna be a good day. I should get some good knowledge, good experience, man. I'm here with Coach. I'm here with Valencia. It's gonna be some awesome networking going on. Some big names out here. Let's get active, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. This is mad cool. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Where you got up? I'm all the way in Orlando. Oh shit. What's up, Coach? I live in Orlando. You do? Yeah, yeah. Where? Winter Park. Okay, yeah, I'm on Edgewater. Oh shit, you're like near. Yeah, right next to you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'm all, I'm like an hour out of the city. I grew up in Orlando though. And so all of my clientele's out there, but I drive an hour to the city every day so I can get them cuts in and stuff, yeah. Where do you, where do you cut at? I cut out, it's called Yo-Yo's Barbershop 3. It's on Edgewater Drive. That's crazy. Yeah. That's I'm in Orlando. Man. All right, what's your, I think I follow you already, but I'm not sure if I do. Yeah, let's see. We'll find out right now if you follow me. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. What's it? It's Bird, B-Y. B-Y. R-D. R-D. The top one. Yeah, I've been cutting for seven years. Let's go. So I've been cutting since I was 15, like 16. Okay. You're gonna cut my hair over there. I need a barber. Let's go, let me know. I just, I just cut up Joel, so. YouTube? It's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything. everything. All right. So I'm gonna have him cut my hair. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have that, because it's all about content right now. Yeah. So everything is content. I'm gonna have my bro cut my hair in Orlando one of these days. We're gonna link up, and you're gonna use this clip right here, and you're gonna cut in like three seconds, and then it's gonna go straight to me getting a haircut. Ready? Three, two, one. Yo! We're gonna stay linked in. Linked in, stay connections out here. Huge connections. He's in Orlando, I'm in Orlando. We're gonna make some check out there. Y'all wait on it. why we wanted to come together in South Florida. On top of it, when they told me, hey, we should do it in Florida and in South Florida, like Miami area, I was a bit nervous because I'm like, oh man, that's going to be a, it's a tough market to bring people together. But look what we did. Look how beautiful. Look how many leaders we have here in the building. One day later. What's up, y'all? Um, 
it is the next morning. I am about to go to Boxer Gym, B-O-X-R, I think it is, with, uh, with Coach and Valencia again. Um, them two again. I'm not going to bring the camera in this one because I don't know how if they are about cameras at this gym. And I don't even want to try that. We didn't record anything last night when we came back here because we were just tired and we kind of just knocked out, completely forgot. Yeah, I just want to update you guys. Last night was a movie. Um, Boxer Gym's about to be a movie. Got to get back here around like 10, 10.30 to make sure I'm out of here by 11. Um, get everything in the car, make sure my lady's okay. We're probably gonna go get brunch afterwards, so you guys will probably see some of that. We didn't show you guys the food that we got when we first got here, so we'll probably show you the brunch that we get. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. Whew, we are back from the gym, guys. I had an awesome workout with Joel and Valencia. Um, we are saying goodbye to this uh, to this awesome room that we were staying in, me and my, the most beautiful girl in the world, um, who's been behind the camera helping me this entire time. Um, besides that, shout out to Joel, shout out to Valencia. It was an awesome time with you guys. It was amazing. The workout was great. Shout out Valencia for pushing hard, pushing his body to his limits during the workout dog it was it was cool seeing that and yeah man miami part two coming soon stay tuned for that yeah <laughs> what's up guys um we we're at what green street green street um we're about to get some brunch i just wanted to give a quick shout out to my girlfriend um she's the one that's been behind the camera this entire time making all of this happen um and so i just wanted to let her know and let you guys know that she's been amazing um she's been with me on the process with me with the time changes and time shifts um she's been adaptable and so i just wanted to give her a quick shout out to let you guys know that it's not me i'm not doing this alone um shout out to the missus she's great she's beautiful and um she's about to get some well-deserved brunch Look at look at her. What is this? Cappuccino? Frappuccino? Macchiato? Macchiato? Do you guys see this? Okay, autofocus. You guys can't even really like see this though, but like it got the whipped cream up top. It got the oh my gosh. So we better have this. Someone's giving me a phone call. Bump scam likely. Scam. Y'all call that number and tell them to stop messing with me. Let them know how it tastes. Give them a little SMS. ASMR, give me a little sip, give me a little sip. Give me a little sip. <laughs> how it tastes, how it tastes. Huh? Tastes good. Okay then. We gonna, we gonna come back to show y'all the food. Green Street out of Miami, man. Let's check out the food. So I got some French toast. I got some French toast with um Nutella inside. Joe, when you see this, don't get mad that I'm cheating on my dying, you know? We got the potatoes with the eggs and the white bread. I got some asparagus in the eggs. The missus got some, you know, scrambled eggs with cheese. She got some potatoes. That's a, that is, it's an English muffin with some, with some regular French toast herself. And then some turkey bacon for that protein. Let's go. Let's go. What is this, diabetes? Good God. Good God. If I can even get this up here. Extraordinary. <laughs> Everything's great. Uh, yeah. I don't even know how close. Yeah, I can see my eyeball. I, I think what they say when you get excited, the people it, it expands. I hope it's I hope it's expanded because that's how I feel. Let me show you the aftermath, cause even though we don't play around here. You know, I mean, well, she play a little. She play a little bit. What is up, you guys? We are at the racetrack. We're uh, filling up on gas real quick um, before we hit the road. We drove out maybe like about 30 minutes to the racetrack because there weren't any 
any um any like better gas stations in the city. It's a bunch of ghetto gas stations like the Mobile and like Seven Elevens. And my lady had to use the bathroom, so we had to uh, stop at a a better environment. You know. Anyways, um, yeah, we better fill up on gas. Now we finna hit that road, dog. We going back to Orlando, the big, the big, um, the 407. You feel me? And uh, finna head back over there. I got appointments lined up for tomorrow. Um, I'm there at 10. Well, I'm there at 9, really. You know, the the the, the days don't stop, man. The sun 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 gonna keep rising. So I'm back back on the, the normal routine tonight. In bed by 11. Up at 5:30 tomorrow morning. Hit the gym at 6 6:30. You know, getting them, them 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 W's early in the morning, dog. And so, yeah, man. I just wanted to update y'all. We had the gas station with it. You feel me? And no, I, I I'm a Florida boy, but I ain't taking no gas station pics, man. It's ghetto. We're back. Uh, we're all the way back in Orlando. Uh, we're actually in Metro West right now because I'm dropping my old lady off at a class. Um, I had to swing to Kissimmee first to pick up my car, head to the airport, drop off the rental, um, and then come all the way here to Metro to drop my lady off at her class. I'm gonna swing over to Orlando to drop off her stuff at um, her crib, and then I gotta shoot my crib, which is two cities past Claremont. So I got another hour and a half of driving to do, so y'all pray for the kid. Um, but this is the outro. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This is my first vlog, like, ever. Um, um, shout out to the missus again, shout out to Joel, shout out to Valencia, shout out Miami, um, and shout out to all my clients and all my supporters who make all this type of stuff happen. Um, you guys are great, you guys are amazing. Also, like I said before, uh, keep watch out for Miami part two, I mean, just other vlogs in general, other, you know, cut therapies coming soon. I'm looking for better locations so that I can shoot that type of stuff. And then the independent ones too, I gotta stay on top of. Look forward to everything that's gonna, you know, be happening. God bless you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Love. Bye.